Hello everyone, Transport Enthusiast here, and in this OMC2 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create or change the AI list of any map in OMC2. So in this tutorial, what I'll show you is how you can change the buses used in any map, and how you can also change the vehicles used in any map, or add vehicles to any map. So in order to do this, what we have to do is we have to go into our OMC2 directory. So for most people, that would be in, you go into your file explorer, like so, this PC, local disk C, program files times 86. Then we, then we are going to go into Steam, Steam apps, common, OMC2. And then the next thing we do is we navigate to our maps folder up here. And after that, what we need to do is we need to select which map uh, we will change the AI list of. So in this tutorial, I will be updating my AI list on Yorkshire since the Enviro 400 MMC and the Studio Polygon Lite have gotten updates, which has meant that the repaints have changed. Okay, so once you find your folder, so Yorkshire 2.0 in uh, our case, the, f the file we will be changing is the AIList.cfg. You want to open this with Notepad or something equivalent. So we open it up with Notepad. And then what we have here is we have our AI group 2. So these are all the cars used in the map. Or, yeah, exactly. So if we want to add cars or remove cars, we can simply delete the line. So each line here denotes what car is being used. So we have the Volkswagen Golf. We have a Mercedes Benz and so forth. So if you want to ch remove any of these, we just rub it out. But if you want to add one, what we do is we have to find the code of our vehicle. So if I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the cars from buses of the West Country into Yorkshire. So the way that I will do this, the way I'll, that I will do this is I will go into um, BOTW 2.9. And it will open up the AI list. So here, what we have is we have all these vehicles. So all I have to do is I click Control C or right click and copy. Then I go back into our Yorkshire AI list. I click Enter and then Control V or right click and paste. So now what I have done is I have added all the AI vehicles that are used in buses of the West Country into Yorkshire. And that is how you can add the vehicles. So you just need to know the path of the vehicles, which you can find by going into a map that uses those vehicles. The next thing we will be looking at is how we can actually change the AI buses used on our map. Okay, so what happens is we have an AI group. So the AI group and depot, this, this refers to the uh, what depot it is, and then this is the hot file as well. You don't need to change this unless you're doing anything in the editor. And then the next thing is we need to know what the, each of these lines represent. So this line here, E169, this is our bus number. Usually most buses they ha most buses in the game have a notepad file with all the bus numbers. This is a registration number and this is a repaint found in the CTI file. Now these spaces here, you cannot use space for them. That will not work. What you have to do is you have to click tab once, tab twice, tab three times. So these, it is very important that you use tab when pasting these in, else it will not work and your repaint, uh, the repaint you have chosen will not show up on the bus. Okay, so at the moment we have the London City Bus C400 being used in this line. I will leave that. What I'm going to be changing is the Studio Polygon 400 MMC since uh, this has been updated. So the way I do this is I go into our OMC2 folder, then I go into the Vehicles folder, or you go into the Vehicles folder, and you find the bus you are looking for. So the first thing you need to do is you need to, this line here in between the vehicle, so this, sorry, this whole line here, this is the bus path. So this is the path to your bus, and the path of your bus starts from your OMC2 folder. So in this case, we have OMC2, vehicles, and then it is, which bus we're using? We're using the Enviro 400 MMC Dual Door 11.5 meter ZX. So that is 
this boss here. So this is the boss file decision. So what we are pasting in here is the path to this boss. So the way you do this is the first thing you do is you right click on this, rename, and then you click Control C or right click copy. After that, you paste that in here. Then what you do is you open up your boss and you need to copy the path of the dot boss file. So dot boss file means this is the actual boss. So the way you do that is you click again, you left click on it, then right click on it, then click rename, and then you click Control C. You don't need the dot. You do need the dot boss part as well. So make sure you either type it in or you copy in and paste the dot boss part as well. Since this is already done here, I will not be adding that in. The next thing we need to do is we need to set our read pains and our registration numbers. So most buses have what's called nodes. So nodes uh, stands for numbers. So if you open this file up, these are all the numbers that you can assign to your bus. And then if you open up the regs, these are all the registration numbers you can assign to your bus. So what we do is we copy the numbers down and then we click, we paste them in. Then what we do is we click tab. So this is one tab here and then you paste in the registration number and then finally the next thing you do is you add in your texture, you add in the repaint. So the way you find the repaint is you go into texture, repaint and then depending which variant you're using, I'm using the ADL, go into ADL. It's important that the repaint you select is for the right file. So in our case, the so in our case the 11.5 meter jewel door is the bus that we are using. So it's important we select this file. And one, one thing to mention is that the Studio Polygon buses and some other buses also have what is called a AI bus file and a normal bus file. Actually, the Volvo B7TL has this as well. So what this means is that the AI file has uh, has lower uh, lower quality textures to reduce memory usage. Because one thing to bear in mind when doing it, this is the more buses you add to your AI list, the slaggier your game will be because it is using up more memory and a lot of times if you're using a lot of buses especially if you're using the Studio Polygon or the Master Switch buses which are a bit more resource heavy or the Envato 200 MMC sometimes what happens is they may turn up white or black instead of the repaint showing and this is because OMC2 runs out of memory so one thing you want to do before you actually do this is make sure you have the 4GB patch installed because if you don't have the 4GB patch installed you will run out of memory very quickly and then the other thing is do check if the bus has an AI variant because the AI variant always uses less resources. Anyway, we're going to go back into textures, then we will go back into repaint, ADL, 11.5 meter dual door, and then we have to find the CTI file of whichever repaint we're using. So in this case, it's the Lux variant. And then all you do is you paste this here, the first thing, so you have an item and then you have a Lux. So this is the name of the repaint. We control C this co or copy it and we paste it in here. So then what we have is we have our AI group 2, so whatever, I think this is the line 20 that uses this. So what happens here is that whenever we paste this in, the Enviro 400 MMC will be the AI used by uh, this uh, AI group here. Okay, so... What I need to do here is I'm going to change this here because, as you know, the ma the master bus or the, uh, the master bus got an update, so this uh, path here will no longer work. So, what we are going to do is we will go into our Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to go into our master bus file. Okay, so now I want to change this path. I want to change this to the free, free space lift uh, Volvo B5 TL. So the way I do this is I go into I need to find the bus file, the bus first. So it is, where is it hiding? MS3, uh, G3 pack. Then I need to find the bus file for it. So the bus I'm going to use is the, G, the G3 B5 TLDD. So DD usually means that it is dual door. So I'm going to click rename, control C. 
content, I'm going to paste this in here. And make sure you have the dot post at the end. And then this is correct. Here is the MSG tree pack. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the numbers uh, still correspond and that the registers still correspond. So we have numbers.org, open this up with notepad. We have registrations, open this up with notepad. And then that seems fine. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a texture file, repaint. And then what I'm looking for is the B5TL. Uh, now, is this the. Now, there's one thing to make sure to check is is this the G2 or the G3? That was the G3. So we go into our texture, repaint, and the B5TL uh, G3, so third generation, and there's no repaint for this. So we might have to use the. This one instead. So we have Dublin Boss and we have Gal. So let's see if we just go ahead to London. <coughs> so I might just use this for now. So we click this, Control C, and then we click this and Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Okay, and the other thing we need to do is we also need to change this to the G2 because this is the G2, not the G3. So we go into here, G2 B5TL.plus, click rename, control C, and then paste that in here. So then that the bus file corresponds to the repaint file. Now, another thread. So the other thing is that. This air group depot here, so this is the first air group depot, this is Yorkshire Terrier, so these are the standard Yorkshire lines. So if you want to add other vehicles, all you have to do is you click Control C to this, and then you click Enter once, and you click Control V. So what this does now is now this allows us to add another branch of buses, so say I might add in here the uh, Digibus Phantom. So if I want to add a Digi Digibus Phantom, what I need is I need this bit of code here, air group depot type group 2, so this is the buses, and then I need to, this line here, the vehicles folder, where where it's going to load the bus from, and I need this end as well to mark that this is the end of the Digibus, the Digibus uh, AI file. So that is how you can add more buses, you simply paste these three things in, and you press enter to make sure there's only one line in between the two other, the two other, uh, the two other air group depots and the other thing is make sure that you add in your bus number registration number and then your repaints here there shouldn't be any spaces in the air group depots okay and then as you can see here for the Yorkshire Terrier we're using the London City Bus C400 or we're using the London City Bus again we're using the Empire 400 MMT and as you can see here this is going to cause a problem so we're going to delete this so it's consistent we have the ALX 400 Regional and the Enviro 200 MMT. Now what we have here is we have the Express Route 19 is using the B5 TL. It's probably not the best use to be best bus to be using for an Express Route, as there are faster buses. But that, there you have it, and it's also using the Enviro 200 MMT. Then what we have here is we have this group here. So this is the Coast Hopper 17. This bus is using the Studio Polygon Lite. Now there was an update. Then once we open up our OMC2. You will see that our buses are working now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this recording and once you load into OMC2, I will show you the working AI list. So I will see you then. Okay, so we are loading up OMC2 now, and one thing to bear in mind is that the more buses you use, the longer it will take to load them up. So for example, uh, for me, it takes about three or four minutes to load environmental traffic. And that is due to the fact that uh, I use the various buses here. So if you want to keep your loading times in OMC2 to a minimum, do, uh, do avoid the more course heavy buses like the Enviro 400 MMT, 200, the Enviro 200 MMT, the Studio Polygon Lite, and the Master Bus, uh, Master Bus Gen 3 pack. Because those buses are more resource heavy, so what that means is they will, it will slow down your game and how long it takes to load. So as you can see here, what we have here is we have our Transbus ALX 400 and it is on the 17A. So this is our added bus, so it's going to be a little repaint. And then what we can do is we can look around and see. Now, 
Now I am quickly going to show you the other AI bosses and that this build works. And if you found this uh, tutorial helpful, Yes, if you need, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And then for more of City tutorial videos and live streams, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And now I'll just show you another AI boss that just loads up. And then after that, you can try it out yourself and enjoy the extra variety added to your answer to the game.